I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. If you haven't downloaded the player quick reference, look for a link below the video so you can follow along. In these random pulls, I want to focus on chows and Peng Chow opportunities. Basically, I want to focus on manipulating number tiles. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with east. We'll just say we're the dealer and take 14 random tiles each time. And then we'll look at the drawn tiles and try to find some scoring elements. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try. Two flowers. These do not count towards the eight point minimum, but we'll get replacements. Two single honors. These are not going to help. We have ones, a nine, and two single honors. The rest of these, two through eight, simples. We do have five, six, four, five, six. There's a bit of a pattern there. I think what I would probably do here is all simples. gather simple tiles, keep it tight four through seven. See if we can do a mixed triple chow or pure shifted pungs. We do have a five, six, but we're light in bams. So we need score mixed triple chow or mixed shifted pungs can get us there in addition to all simples. Try to stay concealed for an additional point. I think that's how I would play this. If you would do something differently, write east pull and what you would do with these tiles. We're gonna do the south pull now. Let's get a replacement tile for the flower. With all these honors, single honors, I think I would try outside hand. We have one eight crack. Let's count how many terminals and honors we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've been told 13 orphans is a possibility if you have 10 tiles from the onset, we're one short. I think I would try for outside hand. Outside hand is number 55 and that is four points. So we would need to pair up the honors the valued honors. If we are in south round and we are in east seat, these would be the valued honors. If we could pair up and pung, we might be able to get some additional score there. We still need more score though. We do have all the nines, so I'm thinking we might be able to do 
Mixed Triple Chow 789. Now there is some potential for lesser and knitted tiles, lesser honor and knitted tiles. Number 34, that's a 12 point hand. 147, 258, 369. There's a 69. Here's a uh, 58. We don't have the right BAMs. I would say that's a long shot. I think what I would probably do, discard the five first, here and here. Hold this one and see if 147 in BAMs comes in for a, a uh, lesser honors and knitted tiles. Otherwise, I think I would try for outside hand. If you would do something differently here, write south pole and what you would do with these motley tiles. I mean, it's not all that motley because look at all these terminals and honors. The challenge is they're all singles, which is what makes me think of lesser honored honors and knitted tiles. Discard the fives. Now we're going to West Round. Number tiles. Discard these. Let's look at patterns. Hmm. Four, five, five, three. That's the only repeating pattern. There is two terminals. Maybe try for all simples again. All simples, two through five. Hold these for options. Discard these first, then the nines, and play all simples, tight sequences, to try to get either mixed triple chow or mixed shifted pungs. Okay, if you would do something differently, write west pull and what you would do with these tiles. We're gonna go on to the last one. North pull. Let's replace the flower. Three. Okay. Single honor. Three, three, four. Wow. Terminals. Three, five, three, four, four. I think I would get rid of the south first, then the ones. Now, wait a minute. What about mixed triple chow with one, two, three? I think I would wait on that. Maybe instead get rid of the south, seven, eight. Stay tight with one through five. What about lower four, number 37, 
tiles one through four. We only have one five. But hold one through five to see if we could do some kind of mixed triple chow or mixed shifted pounds. We could maybe do lower tiles, four pungs or chows in a pair using ones, twos, and threes. That would make, have us discard the four though. I don't think that would be good. Maybe lower four would be good here. Or mix triple chow, or if we can get the three dot, maybe triple pung. I think that would be a long shot though, because that's a big gap. I think I would try it though. One through five, discard these. If you would do something differently for this, right? North pole and what you would do with these tiles. Maybe it's just my imagination, but it seemed like all simples, mixed triple chow, mixed shifted pungs, we're in every random pull. Maybe that's just where my mind is at right now because I'm trying to focus on flexibility with number tiles. Was it my imagination? Am I pushing? Write it in the comment section below what you think about that. What patterns do you see when you get your drawn hand? Do you focus on any particular shape? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Just write them in the comment section below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules, may all your picks be keepers.